greeting, my warm greetings to you, the living church of God. Um, it is my pleasure to be with you this morning and I'm uh, very delighted to be a man of uh, children who are more the same same age with my, my children. So I will be speaking to my children this morning and a few adults uh, who are gathered here. Uh, as I was talking to Elder Solo, he told me that uh, your motto speaks of excellence. And I was, as, I was speak, as I was preparing this message, I was not aware that he, your motto speaks to excellence. So, the choice of the topic is mere coincidence. But that coincidence inspired me to say God is in control. And he knows the right message for the right audience at the right time. So this morning, I will speak to you in both English and Shona. So I don't know what it is called, maybe it's Shonglish, but that is how I'm going to, to handle it. Musoro which is the the mind of Daniel, the mind of excellence. I'm going to speak on excellence this morning. Uh, my, my watch is saying 24 minutes to 12, and this is an hour's presentation. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I will try to make sure that uh, I don't go beyond one hour or I take less than one hour. Excellent, the mind of Daniel. Um, if you read the book, Sons and Daughters, page 348, paragraph 5, it says, higher than the highest human thought can reach is God's ideal for his children. He wants our minds to be clear, our temper sweet, our love unbound. Then the peace that surpasses knowledge will flow from us to bless all with whom we come in conduct. The atmosphere surrounding our souls will be refreshing. Sister White, writing in the book Sons and Daughters, she is saying, an ideal for his people. And what we are finding here is that God's ideal is higher than what human minds or what human thought can reach. In other words, the standard that you have reached so far in your studies, the standard that you have reached so far in your endeavors as a parent, in your work habits, it is right below what God is expecting. That's what that is the same. Of all the people, Christians should be recognized for excellence in their character and in their work. But more often, we now see a certain caliber of Christians who are not known for their character, who are not known for excellence. They are known for mediocrity. And my, my, my challenge this morning, I want to challenge you to reach out for excellence. You need to go beyond even the way people are settling for mediocrity. If the motto of the school speaks to excellence, what it simply means is that when we look at this school, the agenda is that as soon as you leave that gate, you are supposed to be carrying excellence wherever you go. As you shall go into higher studies, into university, into whatever the course that you are going to do in life, people are supposed to ask, where is this person? And they are supposed to be told, he is coming from Lincoln. Where did she get this aspect of excellence? They are supposed to trace it back to this place. So, as Christians, we are supposed to be recognized for excellence in our character, in our work. What is excellence? Excellence is not a genetic 
it is excellent. He does not do short jobs or shortcuts. Everything that the Lord does is excellent. Psalms 150, verse 2, it says, Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. God is not only great, but He is excellently great. He goes beyond the obvious. This is the challenge that God brings to his children. When you want to follow God, when you are a child of God, whatever you do, you are supposed to do it excellently. But that's God's cut. All those verses, Job chapter 30, verse 23, Exodus chapter 15, verse 7, Psalms 36, verse 7, Psalms 8, verse 1, and 9, it will tell you that whatever God does, he does it excellently. So we should pursue excellency because God demands it. If excellency is his nature. His works are also excellent. Oh, 
regions of Persia. And Daniel was the first among the three first presidents. So he's now a professional in Persia. He's now an old man. He's still demonstrating excellence. But whether as a young man or old man, whether in Babylon or in Persia, we find Daniel exhibiting both academic and professional excellence. Such excellence was combined by his spiritual excellence of integrity. So you find it professional excellence, academic excellence, go ahead in the head with spiritual excellence. Reason why one Sabbath we take time off to be with the Lord, to re-put a repackage for academic excellence. So the spiritual excellence goes head in the head with academic or professional excellence. You can't, you can't divorce the two. His integrity in chapter 1 is described when he proposed in his heart. Mukandakuna Daniel chapter 1, she knows Daniel and Misha Maritake. Baba, she's so good, but I'm not sure she's busy. There's no Baba Tafa Yama. They proposed, which means that Baba, she's so good, this will do and this will not do.
Put to 
overwhelmed. So God gave Daniel favor in the eyes of the chief eunuch. Without God, any effort is more likely to fall. Psalms 127, verse 1 and 2.
together of me and mark them which walk as you have us when sent. Let it run if you want to be a prominent business person. And I don't want to see so
is there still in floor is there is not she is about to pass why you are mad at I shall not catch up to her I want to see Jesus as my personal savior God of man for open one I shall do open one so that I may able to pursue excellence going to the king of kings now dwells in my heart if it's your prayer mama go be to now such a touch I want to give you a special prayer I want to see Jesus as my personal savior Yeah.